Well, hello, everybody. I'm Ron Carlson. I'm founder and CEO of iDemand Insurance. We're a specialty property insurance managing general agency focused in the catastrophic risk uh, perils uh, across the United States. So a managing general agency, we are an agency that performs work on behalf of an insurance company. We create their product, we establish the rates, rules, and forms. We get authority to do everything from market, quote, bind, issue, and service the policy. We report to the carriers monthly and give them premium. Everything we do is in the specialty lines of business. That's typically the market segment that an MGA works in. From an investment perspective, we just raised 525,000 uh, under with preferred shares. We're using that for our capital to launch our, our projects. We expect them it to be sufficient enough to get us into a positive revenue position in uh, Q1 of 2020. We, for additional funding, after we have a, a carrier, we do have a remaining 475,000 of preferred shares. And we are looking at doing a, a separate million dollars either under a safe or convertible debt environment. Uh, that's to be determined in the near term. So why do you need MGAs in the specialty marketplace? Right now, insurance companies stop writing insurance policies covering mainly flood, hurricane, earthquake, and in particular now wildfire. Government pools fill the gap. In addition, small, under undercapitalized, underrated carriers have been the other choice to fill the void. This is a significant opportunity for the product and capacity that we're bringing to the market, as you'll see. Our core products, Hurricane, we've, we've created an event-based live on-demand option for hurricane insurance. This is not in the market today. We did a very unique adjustment to the policies to provide that option. In addition, we'll be off, and that was, we have expectations, people will save 15 to 50% compared to a traditional policy. Private flood, right now the National Flood Program, very limited on its coverage and its territories. Private flood market will get larger limits, broader coverage. In the near future, 2020 and beyond, we'll be expanding into wildfire, weather risk, and earthquake. So hurricane, uh, you got to be near the coast. We only deal with tier one and tier two counties. We show the map here that takes us through Carolina, our, our first territories. This is a major uh, coastal areas where a lot of the population is, a lot of the values are, significant number of risks, 18 million housing units just in these highlighted counties. Give you an idea on the upper left, Hurricane Dorian. That was a path of Dorian that came through just this hurricane season. You can see how it matches up with our territory. Dynamic pricing, this is a really uh, interesting piece that we're doing with our live purchase. We're giving people a pre-agreed price for our product based on the category of the storm. There's no second guessing, we can't gouge them after the fact, but this gives you an idea of a base price, tropical storm, hurricanes a little more expensive, ma major hurricane even more. As you can see on the map here, we go from in the first seven days where the forecast on the upper left had, had it heading into Florida, and for a minute, it almost reached Alabama. Then as it went on, it turned up and it went up the coast and it worked its way into the Carolinas and back out to sea. Our pricing changed every four times a day, every six hours or so based on the Hurricane Center. And you can see it varied by county. It went up or down and eventually it closed. This is gonna be a dynamic pricing. It allows people to save money and make a choice whether they even buy. Our revenue channels are three main channels. Uh, the, the half of the market is controlled by national carriers. This is the all states, state farms, nationwide of the world. They control their producers. Their producers control the customer. That's half of the marketplace. Retail wholesale is, is another section. And then direct and people that don't even buy in the marketplace is small. We're coming in with best of product. We have a net rated program so we can have commissions that fit for all these different markets. We're coming in with A rated capacity by AM Best Company, and we're focused on the toughest zones. And we're a fully automated platform to allow people to have quick decisions. 
from a revenue perspective, we're just we're just building at the end of 2019, so no revenue, a little bit of cost. We look to be in the market as we develop in the beginning. Our margins are going to be a little bit slim, 17%. As we build up and, and get critical mass, our margins will increase. We're in a very with our automated platform become a fairly efficient. We expect to be running about 50, 50 plus percent margins on our revenue. The bottom, you'll see our per share. This per share, because of what we mentioned earlier, the options is just based on the two and a half million shares, ignoring any safe at this moment from a per share perspective. As a team, uh, we have a, just a few people on board today. The few people that we have on board, including myself, have 20 to 30 years experience. We've run every aspect of an operation from the carrier, from the broker side, from reinsurance, from an MGA, operations, admin, audit, claims, et cetera. We'll be bringing a, a marketing person on board as soon as we're signed with our carrier. And then we also rely a lot on vendors. We have some, some select, very large, very scalable vendors that run our policy system, all of our risk modeling, and we outsource our backroom customer service center. If that can be done efficiently, we just don't have a reason to build it internal. We also rely on some advisors. Aon Reed does our analytics. They're helping us on our distribution and introduction to those uh, big carriers that we talked about. We'll be bringing in a regulatory person who is a former legislator. And then we also have uh, in the group today, uh, we've been working with Startup NV as an incubator advisory environment. So again, I demand. What we have in addition to our presentation, we have a lot of product. Uh, not to go through here, we do have a tremendous amount of stats by apparel for anyone that is interested. Uh, they can hit any one of these links, anything you want to learn about uh, our areas, you'll understand the market size and capacity. So that's it. Uh, if there's any questions, I'll be happy to take it.